maybe fourth and fifth graders or unless you're kindergarten through third grade it doesn't matter who's watching this video because this one's pretty fun because i'm reading you guys a story and i'll tell you guys what i want you guys to do so uh little red riding sheep is a book based off of little red riding hood however there's a twist the twist is is that this sheep kind of not ruins it but enhances the story and uh, what i want you guys to do is take a classic story and reimagine it uh with illustrations and try to make it uh your own and put a different spin on it and basically change the story uh to maybe modern times or maybe maybe make it funnier maybe make it darker i prefer funnier but um that's all i want you guys to do so uh find a classic story that you want and uh let's change it up a bit so this book does it perfectly and i really want to read it to you guys so again if you're not fourth and fifth grade not a big deal because this book is for everyone so i did read this to my son a couple times already he loves it can't tell because he's too little but I like it, and I can't wait to read it again and again and again. So, this is called Little Red Riding Sheep by Linda Raven Lauding and Kale Atkinson. I think Kale, Kale Atkinson is the one that illustrated it, but um, it's really funny. So, once upon a time, there was a little girl in a red hood. Who are you? I'm Arnold. Sheep. Arnold, you're not a little girl. Well, technically no. But when I scratch down to get little, see, I fit on the page. No, I mean, you're not a girl. You're a sheep. A uh, hiding schnook sheep, to be exact. But the main character in this book isn't a sheep. That's what the authors say. We sheep are usually just in the background grazing and minding our own business. You know, boring. Sorry, you're just not what I'm writing. Oh, please. I'll be good. I love books. I just want to be drawn into a story. Get it? Drawn in? Oh, all right then. Thank you. You won't be sorry. Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in a deep, dark wood. Um, excuse me. I'm a smidgen of brain of the woods and deep and dark things. Would it be nicer if I lived in a daisy dotted meadow or Idaho maybe? I already drew the forest. Can I erase a tree or two? Bring in some more light? Do you want this gig or not? Sorry, bad me. Just a little sheep humor. One day, the girl's mother baked cinnamon buns and said, Don't tell me. She said, Eat these buns right now while they are fresh from the oven. Ahem. Sorry, it's just that I haven't grazed since breakfast. Go, child, and take these to grandmother, for she is ill. Let me guess, Granny lives in the woods, too. I'm okay with the woods, really. But I think this scene is too scary for readers. Maybe Granny could live in Palm Springs? Sunshine? Chinese checkers? A nice lemon poppy cake? As she crossed the forest, the girl met a hungry wolf. Exactly why I don't like the woods. Hungry things with big teeth live in there. How about if I meet a fairy godmother who grants wishes? This isn't that type of story. Uh, got it. Scary wolves in, fairy godmothers out. Listen, Eugene. May I call you Eugene? Yeah, why not? A suggestion. I have this friend, Einer. He's a muskrat and would be perfect as the wolf. He's a muskrat. Wait till you meet him. Yoo-hoo, Einer. Einer, make your scary face. Go ahead. Scary, right? Very. The wolf looked at the girl and thought, what a nice plump a mouthful. Plump? Me? It's all this fluffy fleece. I'm way overdue for a sharing. Where are you going? To Luigi's. He's a great illustrator and can, and can redraw me. He's right next door. Yoo-hoo, Luigi! Need a favor? I'm about to be eaten by a wolf. Can you make me less appetizing? Come on up! The wolf ran straight to grandmother's house and knocked at the door. Just one more itty bitty thing. If you don't have a granny for the story, I have this friend, Frankie. And she'd be great. She's won a granny award. And let me guess, Frankie is a... Uh, a warhog. Yoo-hoo, Frankie! How can you resist that face? Come in, called grandmother, and before she could say another word, the wolf, where's the wolf? He's supposed to be on this page. Go get Wiener. Uh, it's Einer. Einer, Wiener, whoever. Come on, Frankie, let's go see where he is. Where's Wiener? Little problemo. Don't tell me, he's a vegetarian. Well, yes and no. He said he doesn't believe in solving problems by eating them. But the wolf gobbles up grandmother and... I get gobbled? The wolf should invite Granny to a ball. She could get out of bed, put on a pretty dress, just get cleaner. 
the wolf poked through grandmother's wardrobe and put on a frilly sh sleeping cap. He dabbed grandmother's perfume behind his pointy ears. Not a good idea. I'm I'm a I'm a chew. That's a sneeze. <laughs> Allergic to perfume. Stop. This story has is this story is in shambles. You know we're a bit tired. Let's take five and eat those buns. I can't write. What was I thinking? Your ideas are much better than mine. Really? Daisies, lemon, poppy cake, fairy godmothers. Kids love that stuff. I love that stuff too. Arnold, you should write the story. Just one itty bitty question. Can I be in it? I've never been in a story before. Once upon a time, in a meadow in Palm Springs, there lived a water buffalo named Eugene. He loved lemon poppy cake and shared with all his friends. The end. So I need a pencil and a paper. Some classic stories include Hansel and Gretel, uh, Little Red Riding Hood, which we kind of just did. Uh, Snow White, uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, there's a uh, Goldilocks, uh, The Ugly Duckling. There's a couple other ones, all you gotta do is look it up. I think uh, Jack and the Beanstalk would be serving f uh, good for us, and I think instead of a Beanstalk, maybe we can do something like this. Zap, no one in particular, because I'm copying Jack and the Beanstalk, and Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack, uh, Zach and the really tall... Zack and the Really Tall Rose. And what I'm gonna do, inspired by Jack and the Beanstalk. Inspired by Jack and the Beanstalk. So Zack and the Really Tall Rose. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to come up with something at the top of my head. No clue what I'm gonna do. Um, first thing I think of is draw some land here. Just like that, maybe a couple spritzes of grass and weeds. There you go. There's the rose. Oh, some more to it. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, I'm trying my best here. Oh my god, this is horrible. If you ever mess up, just start over. I'm not starting over. <laughs> Prickly bush. And then I'm gonna draw a character, and uh, I'm gonna draw my character. I'm just gonna sketch him out first because I have no idea what to do. Uh, I'm gonna do speech bubble right here. He's gonna say, "Why am I? Why would I ever climb something pointy?" And then he's kind of like a little chubby. Kind of has his hand like this. And he has a little spread out like this. There you go. All right. All right. So this is my character over here. He's gonna be looking at this little beanstalk, or rose, tall rose, and he's gonna be like, kinda like, questioning it. There you go. Has a little, actually no, let's make it a girl. <laughs> I'm gonna get a girl, I think it'll be a little cuter. Let's see. I'm gonna find a girl. Because, actually, no, ah, I named it Zach already. Never mind. Can't be, can't be a girl. <laughs> um, let's see. Boy with blue hair, I guess. Dark blue hair. There you go. That looks like me, kind of. Ugh, I don't like that color. Eh, oh well. There you go. And there we go. Give him an orange shirt. Let's use a chisel tip to add more to the chin. There you go. Chisel tip always works best. Why would someone climb something with And if I really want to uh, make it more advanced, I should uh, fix the boy a little bit. Yeah. Just kind of 
here just a little bit more. <laughs> it kind of does look kind of like me. All right, one tooth. Oh, is it the one tooth? There you go. All right. I should be letting the black dry in order to do before I do the light peach, but I'm in a rush and I have a couple of these cut markers. So anyways, there we go. There go. Let's add a little bit of swirls, dots, because we want to do this as quick as possible. All right. Ta-da! All right. What do you guys think? Jack and the Really Tall Rose, inspired by Jack and the Beanstalk. And it's basically a character saying, why would someone climb something with thorns? And uh, that's the project. Hopefully you guys can uh, think of a classic story and do your own. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Can't wait to show you guys the next project for the following week. Anyways, have a good one. Be safe. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't cough at anyone. Stay six feet apart. You know the drill. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.